and we moved from incremental budgeting to zero based budgeting and that too with a bottom up approach we circulated forms we designed forms we had training sessions we asked our departmental heads to fill in the budget forms and then gave us they filled the, the budget forms and it was a huge wish list as expected the department asked it was back two years back they asked for a 350 million dollar budget capex without any power without any power plant so what we did was then we had to spend a lot of time in rationalizing those numbers because when you are in cash crunch you can't afford nice to have you can only focus on must have things so another approach could be a top down approach where you go for zero based budgeting but a top down approach where you define to your leaders that that's a kitty available now we are going to help you we'll facilitate that budgeting process but you as business leaders are to decide where to spend prioritize that money that's a kitty available unless there is a very strong and severe business need of exceeding that try to be within that limit that is probably more time efficient you can try that but that depends from organization to organization and from culture to culture there is no hard and fast rule Another issue that affects our cash flow is the circular debt. It's much talked about. It's affecting a lot of organizations in the energy sector. The, on, the one way you can manage is to continuously follow the government authorities. Have your people there in Islamabad every day going and knocking the doors of ministries. Another way of doing it, if possible for you, is to hedge your receivables with your payables. You can't have the luxury of making all payments and then expecting the receivables to come after a due course of time. The best way, if you have that luxury, if you have, if you have the receivables and the payables, to knock them off, to hedge them. And that's exactly what we are trying to do. With all these difficulties, we, have, we are trying to match the receivables with payables. And we have over 30 billion rupees stuck up in the circular debt. Working capital management. When working under tight cash flow, it's also important for you to work very closely with your supply chain department. You need to know when are you procuring, what are you procuring, when will be the cash flow impact, what will be the payment terms. You have to work very closely with your supply chain department. And believe me, a smart procurement, smart inventory management can do wonders for you from cash flow management perspective. Focus on critical stocks. When you are in crisis, you can't have the luxury of keeping buffer stocks and reorder levels for non-critical items. You have to take that calculated risk. You have to take that calculated risk. You can't risk default on the other side. You just focus on your critical stocks. You can definitely have some buffer stocks for them, but not on the non-critical side. Go for bulk purchasing. If you are in crisis, doesn't mean that you purchase, you, that you break your purchases into tiny pieces. Go for bulk purchases, but with staggered deliveries, knowing exactly when you need things and knowing exactly when your payment will be. And then, of course, slow moving. We were able to unblock over two billion of funds stuck up in flow moving inventory. Prioritizing funds. Now, one thing important here to note, and we'll talk about it later as well, that prioritizing of funds is important, and that prioritization can't be done by you. From ownership perspective, it's important that that prioritization has to come from the business side. They should drive, the business should drive the cash flow. Unless it is done like it, there will be an ownership crisis in the company. There will be blame games in the company. So maintain a strong liaison internally. Business priorities should drive your cash spend. You are only a support function. You are managing cash. You are managing the broader picture, inflows and outflows. But the driver comes from the business side. Be current on all your liabilities. That's important. One loan default on a secured liability can trigger cross defaults across. All treasury guys know here that one loan normally in all our, in all our agreements, one, one loan default, it triggers cross defaults across all agreements. Communicate regularly with your suppliers. That's important. Don't hide behind the computer. Don't run away. Don't, don't shy away. Be open to your vendors as well. They would like to help you as well. Apply an approach, a business partnering approach. Try to use that. Negotiate payment plans with them. Of course, they are also dependent on you. You can use your purchasing power as well. <clears throat> and then, of course, you can evaluate your cost of funds with your supplier's credit. That's exactly what we do. Managing stakeholders. But this is also very important. Internally, when you have budget cuts, when you are in financial crunch, then you run the risk of being tagged as showstoppers. You become bad guys. 
the operational guys get frustrated har cheez jaake finance pe ruk jati hai they hold on files they keep things under the table what are they doing so what is important for you is to manage communication strongly a proper peer communication by cfo can help relieve a lot of pressure on this side you must tell them you are the tail and they are the dog the dog the dog drives the tail so they are the drivers of the cash spend you are not you are only managing it for them it's better to be tail than dog वैसे so you are driving cash for them you are you are driving you are not driving you are managing cash for them you are just managing the bigger picture you have to manage the inflows and outflows you have to manage the liquidity risk they are driving the cash spend you have to share openly with you, you have to share openly as well as regularly the cash issues that you have because the last thing that a company in crisis can afford is interdepartmental friction is a fragmented team you need to have a cohesive team to achieve results and for all your efforts that you will be doing on process side on internal control improvement side you need to have the business support you need to have the process support from them <clears throat> on the external management side of course that's again very difficult when you are in crisis your shareholders they also have expectations you have to be open with them you have to share everything with them and make sure there are no unpleasant surprises for them you have to get their support in terms of sponsors funds and you have to deliver on the return expectations as well as business so that's important we talked about managing vendors then managing employees the best way to manage is a performance management system performance only culture is the best way to manage your employee and workforce you should reward your high performers and try to try to to shade away try to sideline the non performers and detach the non performers use small motivational tools we talked about these motivational tools earlier throughout the day as well and that doesn't require too much money to spend a small appreciation letter recognition awards they can also help <laughs> reporting more important from external reporting is the managing management reporting internal reporting in crisis because you finance are entrusted to provide timely and quality signals you tell your leadership where are we going wrong what can be done so your internal management reporting is very important when you are in crisis people look towards you to give them data to give them timely information so that they make right decision at the right time and for that your business knowledge is very important believe me if you acquire a bit of brief bit of a business knowledge you can identify huge opportunities for the business in terms of cost savings in terms of value addition we have a very strong cohesive finance team in our company and a lot of initiatives have been taken in the business in the supply chain side based on the finance information one of the one of the simple and easy easy to understand initiative by finance in this company was a smart load shed program once kac achieved a regulated load shed program we finance it was a finance driven initiative to bring commercial sense to the load shed program as well to bring some commercial sense so we divided our feeders into three broad categories high loss feeders medium loss feeders and and low loss feeders and the load shed plan was based on those on those losses so that generated a lot of commercial sense in terms and and a lot of value for the business in quantitative and qualitative terms because we all know when we are in finance we are in a much better position to connect the dots we have all the information so if we gather some business knowledge we can generate a lot of business value and that is what is required when you are in crisis so just to summarize the attributes that a finance head in such a situation should have an exceptional eq leadership skills and eq brings a lot of leadership skills you should have very strong negotiation and persuasion skills people management is again in large organizations all you have to do is to manage your people you can't go deep down yourself and start linking yourself howsoever qualified howsoever experienced you may be howsoever strategic strategic clarity and the vision clarity you might have you need people to deliver on that you need people to execute those things and that people management here comes in risk and decision making when you are in crisis you have to take calculated risk we talked about like non critical items of stock and a lot of other places you have to take calculated risk so quick decision making smart decision making taking calculated risk is important business partnering we talked about this business partnering approach internally as well as with your vendors you have to have a business partnering approach and then you must understand the sensitivities as well 
when you are dealing in a company like this where there are a 